in the YouTube world, this is Chris Hewitt here. I'm going to make another video because it is that time again. Today is August 10th, 2015, and what better time to make a video than that? So I'm really excited for life right now. I'm actually in the beginning of a four-week vacation. I was originally going to go on a road trip, and I was going to go cross-country, and that was my plan, but I decided that, um, first of all, I needed to take care of some stuff with my car, dealing with titles and registrations, so I couldn't do that, unfortunately. Instead, I'm going to just relax. I'm going to take care of some things at home. I'm going to revamp my office. Office. I'm gonna try and exercise and eat healthy. You know, I have some work on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now that I decided to get back into. If you don't know what I do by now, I'm a freelance musician, so I play a lot of church services. I teach piano lessons and voice lessons, which is new to me, actually. And I also just got two funerals for Friday, or at least should be two funerals. So, eh, it happens. Uh, so that'll be good, some, get some good work. So, yeah, I'm really excited for my vacation. Uh, some other things I've been doing lately, I worked at American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco, actually and I was one of their accompanists for their high school intensive for theater classes and that was really exciting I worked from 2 to 5 30 every day Monday through Friday for two weeks and that just finished last Friday and it was so good the kids were awesome my instructor was awesome and it was just great to be able to work in the city again at such a prestigious establishment so that was really fun and then uh, prior to that we did Hello Dolly the month of July was just such a busy month because I was in rehearsals almost every day and then we had two weeks of tech week and so it was a great tech week. Literally the director, Steve Kinsella, said that he had never had a time where it was a better and more productive tech week, so we were so prepared by opening night. Uh, of course, you know, things went interestingly enough here and there, but it turned out to be a really good performance. Um, I conducted with my <laughs> my newly acquired baton that uh, Marty Muldoon gave me. This is my baton. She gave it to me. It's so nice of her. And so, um, yeah, I conducted nine performances of the show and one brush-up rehearsal, so that was exciting. Please excuse my mess behind, it's just, it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, I conducted nine performances, and uh, by the end I had a 14-person band. I had four winds, two flutes that were playing the violin book, I had a pianist, I had two trombones, three trumpets, uh, drums and percussion, and it was so exciting. So, I had a lot of fun, and I hope to work at that company again in the future. So, another thing that I was, I've been doing lately is kind of less teaching which is kind of weird because I have this sticky note on my computer that says in March and April 2014 I had 25 to 26 students regularly which at a point does kind of kind of kill my spirits because yeah it was amazing having that many students and that amount because at least five of those students were uh, siblings or even three of them in a family so it was just really exciting to kind of see them all work together and just enjoy piano lessons together but you know what <laughs> As I expanded my horizons in 2015, worked with Home Street Home in January and February, then I worked with the Cable Car Nymphomaniac in June, then I did Hello Dolly. I'm doing so many more shows. I'm really turning out to be the musician that I'm hoping I can always be, which is a true music director, conductor, and just really, <laughs> I want to use the word aficionado of uh, anything music related. So we'll see how that goes. I um, think that starting tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to try and take some of my projects and really revamp them. And to be honest, the reason I'm making this video because I want to have a bigger presence on YouTube. I think I've always been a born YouTuber because I've followed YouTube ever since like 2000... Well, I put, posted my first video in 2007 and I've been a member since I think November 22nd, 2006. I remember that date. So it's been almost nine years that I've been on YouTube and I've just always loved it. I've never taken it to, to Tumblr. I don't take to Twitter that much. I do like Instagram a lot, but there's only so much you can do with that in terms of individuality. I really think YouTube is the platform that you can just do so much with. I drive a lot for my job because, like I said, I was working in San Francisco and I was driving to Brentwood every day to do Hello Dolly rehearsals and performances. So, you know, being in Stockton has its pros because it's very affordable to live here and I honestly don't mind the area, but it's kind of, some people call it the armpit of California, so it's kind of what it feels like. But to be honest, I think that's more Fresno or Bakersfield. <laughs> or even Merced where my brother used to live. So, where was I going with that? Um, yeah, I drive a lot with audiobooks. So, I've become obsessed with Audible. I have at least, I think I have 24 titles in my library now because I've had Audible for over a year. I think a year last May. So, I've listened to, I think, 15 audiobooks. I listened to Joey Graceffa's book, In Real Life. It's just stacked and I can't take it. 
And my next book is going to be Connor Francis book, A Work in Progress, which is what's balancing on my camera, and uh, my camera is balancing on. And I actually read a book about Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX and PayPal co-founder. And I'm just reading a lot of interesting things. I'm reading a book about um, the... Um, the two the two hour the under two it's under two hour marathon yeah the sub two hour marathon which could be achieved in the next like five to ten years they're saying currently the marathon record is two oh three thirty two and once I start exercising more I'm really gonna try and get into more distance running because I have such a passion for it it's just really such a burning passion I have for running and I want to always harness any passions that I have and just take to them I have a passion for journaling for audiobooks I have a passion for music obviously for technology for anything that's kind of nice and pristine which is why i'm a huge apple enthusiast and i like certain things about certain electronics and so yeah i'm just uh really excited about things and uh that's why i was gonna go on this road trip because i was gonna listen to audiobooks and you know visit some friends and stuff but i decided that uh, i can't do that yet so but i'm still gonna listen to audiobooks as i drive around for whatever reasons and yeah we'll see kind of how that goes I think it is my goal to just do more on YouTube. I would love to honestly make a video like this every single day and just see where that takes me and do hundreds of video logs and then do more piano videos and do other kind of videos on different topics of this world. Ugh, I just really want to do more YouTube. So get my get my stuff out there and just kind of track, also document the change I'm trying to make with my body as I lose weight, which is actually a large number that I don't want to talk about yet because I need to actually continue the process a little bit more before it actually takes off. But, um, yeah, by the way, I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, so in case this looks a little bit ungroomed and untidy, do not worry, because maybe I'll make a video tomorrow, and you will see a totally different me. And by then, hopefully, my office will be cleaned up, and you can see more of it. So, anyway, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear more from people. Uh, I'm going to try and promote my videos in any kind of way, because... I think that I have a lot of good things to say, and I would like people to watch my videos, as I watch other people's videos all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. You oh, that was terrible. Um, <laughs> so, um, yes, if you could just... Yeah, I'd love it if people share that, but you know, some I think I just hit 100 subscribers, so that's good, but yeah, we'll kind of see where this goes. And uh, yeah, hope everyone's doing good, and have a good day. Bye-bye.